Hi, and welcome to Raz Reviews. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Aladdin. Aladdin is another Disney live-action adaptation of their animated classics, this time of the 1992 film of the same name brought to us by director Guy Ritchie. Now, from the get-go, especially when the trailers for this movie came out, this film faced a lot of negativity and bad press. Mostly concerning the CGI blue genie and the giant blue elephant in the room, which is Robin Williams' iconic performance. People are just not ready to see it adapted, really. I wasn't ready either, and to be honest, I wasn't actually excited about this film. I thought it was gonna be a train wreck. Even though it was shot in my home country of Jordan. Woohoo! But still going in, I had really low expectations. However, having seen it now, it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. There are things that work and other things that don't work, but the things that work kind of outweigh the things that don't. So I ended up having a really good time and enjoying this movie for the most part. I think the key here, if you want to enjoy Aladdin, you kind of have to check your attachment to Robin Williams' genie at the door. Better yet, check your attachment of the 1992 cartoon in the first place. And just walk in, leaving that out of your head and experiencing the film for what it is. I managed to do that somehow, and for that reason, I had a really good time. Honestly, I kind of liked Will Smith's genie. He was likable and funny. He was more like um, genie hitch, which worked in the context of the film. I loved Mina Masoud as Aladdin. I thought he did a great job. He's very similar to the animated Aladdin, which was really nice. He was likable, goofy, um, and charming in his own way. Naomi Scott as well was incredible as Jasmine. I thought she did a great job and kind of stole the show and is a definite standout in the film. And Pretty much the casting of this film is really what makes it work a lot because these people have amazing chemistry together and I enjoyed them on the screen. So it's a case where the cast actually elevates the film and makes it better than what it would have been otherwise. However, the big highlight for me is the music. I love those classic songs and their adaptation here was pretty cool. I really liked the big production numbers and the production design and the dances. It was a lot of fun. I was tapping my feet and humming the songs along and it was a nice touch editing out the uh, racist lyrics and replacing them with something else that's not racist. However, I must point out that there is an extra song that is added in the film that I didn't like at all. It's this SJW cringy frozen clone ballad that really did not belong there. Mm. No. And even as a woman, I gotta say, I really don't like this new trend of shoving female empowerment in my face. I really don't need it. She's already a strong enough, powerful character without having to sing lyrics about, I'm so strong and powerful, no one will silence me, I get out of the way, man. We don't need that, she's strong enough, it's a great performance. Don't overdo it, please, just stop it. Even the story was kept pretty much intact and the stuff that they were loyal to was adapted really well, I liked it, but there are some stuff that they added that also didn't really work, so. Stick to the original, if it's not broke, don't fix it. However, the biggest thorn in this film's side is one thing, Jafar. He is terrible. No, nothing about this guy works. Not how he looks, not how he talks, not his personality. He's so over the top and villainy. He spends most of the film standing in the shadows and giving Aladdin like these evil stares. And he has this like really nasally annoying voice. Hello, Aladdin. Power, I wield it for you. Everything in this movie was adapted into live action except for this guy who was as cartoonish as possible. Just doesn't work. Stuck out like a sore thumb. Also, Jasmine's dad was garbage. <laughs> he was not a good actor. His personality was really weird. The dad in Aladdin is actually very goofy and cute. And this guy was just like, Ugh. and he had the world's worst makeup beard I've seen in a Hollywood film in the last like 15 years. At the end of the day, I found this movie to be a lot of fun. It was a nice celebration and a nice tickle in the old nostalgia bone. I enjoyed it a lot and I think kids are gonna love it. If you're a fan of the Disney animations and if you're a fan of these um, live action adaptations, definitely check it out. Forget about the old one and just judge this for what it is. It does get a little cheesy and corny sometimes, but it works in its own way within its own world and it worked for me. And that's why I'm gonna give Aladdin an eight out of 10. So, have you seen Aladdin? What did you think about it? What do you think about the other live action adaptations and how do you rank them? Let me know in the comments section and as always, like, share and subscribe and don't forget to ask me what you'd like me to review for you next. See ya!